Hello. Today I'm talking about The Happiness Advantage by Sean Anker. Um, amazing book. Um, I've listened to this book as an audiobook before, and uh, I've always wanted to find something about happiness. Um, uh, you know, people have their opinion about happiness, they talk about happiness, but I don't know why I find this topic really interesting. I've always felt like there's an answer of a better living on the search of happiness, and this book is amazing. It's one of the best on these principles. Uh, seven Principles for Success and uh, Positive Psychology. Uh, one of the biggest ideas that I got from this book is that we have it all backwards. We have it all reversed. We think that we want to achieve something, we want to succeed in something, and when we do it, we will become happy. And we have it all backwards. Sean says that he has a big list, something like this. I want to achieve complete financial freedom. I want to get married to the perfect wife. I want to create successful business, have a perfect beach body, have everything under control, become the best version of myself. And when I have these things, I will become happy. And here we have it all wrong. As studies have shown that people, when they are happy, when they are, um, you know, optimistic, they start to perform better and then they get these results, not vice versa. As we see, many people are successful, but they're not happy. But when people are happy, they become successful. This idea alone has revolutionized my, my thoughts on happiness and uh, achievement and so on. And so you are not going to become happy because you get uh, the goals you want to achieve. Nope. It's the, the opposite, it's vice versa. You get the goals that you want and achieve the, the aims that you want because you are happy or because when you are happy, you achieve success. I'm also I'm an English teacher and I'm interested in language acquisition and uh, Stephen Krashen has made a research on memory and uh, vocabulary. He said that students, when they have anxiety, when they are worried and nervous, they don't remember vocabulary and uh, they, their grammar is, ba is bad. But when they are happy, when they are enjoying the class, they, they perform better, they remember better, their English in general uh, increases. So uh, it's on uh, the psychology of learning as well. It's very, very uh, productive. So. Uh, the studies in this book have a lot of principles. They, we have uh, seven strategies, and then we have a couple of principles, uh, main, main ideas from the book. Um, this idea alone has, has really, really changed my mind. And uh, the, the seven things that he described in the book are also very, very practical and helpful. So let's start with number one. Number one is meditation. Now, uh, scientists has, have proven that the monks that are practicing meditating uh, every day for years have a better frontal cortex, which is the part of the body or the, the brain responsible for happiness. Meditation is one of the best things. It's really underrated, does not get recognition. I first uh, started meditating when I uh, knew the application uh, Calm, Calm application. I downloaded it. I started listening to the the guided meditation, it's really, really helpful. It relieves the stress, it makes you more present, it removes the brain fog, really, really helpful. One of the things that really are underrated and it's immediate, you can see its benefits like after a couple of weeks, you know, just even starting with 10 minutes every day, you can go on YouTube, find the calm uh, page. They have like 10 day challenge. Each uh, session is 10 minutes. It's really, really helpful. I recommend it. Number two, find something to look forward to. Again, it's not just only about doing the thing that you enjoy. It's looking forward to it. Studies have shown that when you are uh, anticipating a meal, for example, you want to eat, you, the dopamine in your mind started to, uh, you know, being uh, moved in your body and pumped just because you are looking forward to that meal. So always look forward to something you, you like, something that improves you, something that makes you better. It's another way to look forward to uh, great things. Always try to improve yourself, traveling new places, a, you know, um, something you want to achieve, try to work for it and do look forward to it. Number three, commit conscious acts of kindness. This is one of the most beautiful things that you can, you can do conscious acts of kindness try to have you know even something very very simple try to like buy uh, candy or chocolate whatever try to give it to children or to people around you your family your friends your colleagues you will see immediate results from just giving uh, these acts of kindness when you share when you make people happy your happiness increases as i said before it's one of my favorite quotes everything uh, is increasing by multiplication except for happiness it increases with division when you divide it when you make people happy it really adds on you number four to infuse positivity in your surroundings again 
you are affected by your environment your physical environment when when it looks you know gloomy when your room is even just messy you don't you know um, it, it looks like what's inside your mind when you have your surrounding positive you always react into things this is also one of the biggest principles that i've learned in my life that things are going to happen right your reaction to it de define what it is you know you can get sick you can say okay this is just a hur just a hurdle just something i'm going to to move on thank god i i it's not something bad it's not the worst thing i'm not the only one who has this your reaction can determine what's actually happening to you things happen to everyone someone can say oh why me this is so bad uh, why this and uh, you know i wish it never happened to me and some people have the same thing and say this thank god they have this gratitude and one of the best things that you can do for uh, making this a practice, which I like about this book that's really practical advice on becoming happy, is having a gratitude journal. Every day before you go to sleep, try to write the best things that happened to you in the day, the, the things that you are grateful for in your life. It's very, very good practice. This was number four. Number five, which is exercise. Again, physical activity boosts your mood. Uh, it pushes endorphins in your body. Uh, we know when the blood flow gets you in your body, it reduces anxiety. You breathe more when you exercise, and it's really, really beautiful. You can consider everything as exercise, especially weightlifting. You can work out at home. You can do yoga. You can even just clean the house and consider that exercise. But moving and exercising, you know, there are a lot of books that are just about the benefits of exercise, like Spark. It's another great book. But exercise is, is really, really good. Number six is spend money but not on stuff. Now, um, he mentioned that in the book Luxury Fever, Robert Frank explains that while the positive feelings uh, from uh, buying things are just going away quickly, spending money on the experience, especially once with other people, uh, makes you happy and it lasts forever. Try to treat your family uh, on a, you know, a restaurant or a just going out or bringing gifts, something that lasts like a necklace or ring or whatever to your family, to your friends. Uh, spend money on things really makes you happy immediately. This is one of the things that you try. When you buy something new, you get this boost. And when you make it as a practice, it really you know um, adds to your happiness in general. The last thing in these principles is to exercise signature strength. It's one of the things that you... Uh, I, I, I surprised this is one of the things that made me happy exercise signature strength is to do something you are really really good at um, most often or to do it uh, in front of people for example you are very good at public speaking or at explaining something teaching someone try to get people and to exercise that strength try to show the people how good you are at, at this thing you know just to teach them and educate them in one, on one hand, this makes you even better when you try to teach it to other people. And when you exercise that, your brain uh, functions better and it's like an exercise for your brain and it adds a lot of happiness. Now, there are a lot of principles uh, uh, in this book. Let's go through them. The ones that stuck to me, something known as the Zorro effect. Now, you know, Zorro, I think it's a movie done by, uh, what's his name? Antonio Banderas, I think so. Uh, the Zoro Circle. He, this character Zoro, used to fight people with a sword, and uh, they they have an uh, advantage of number on him. So his teacher told him, draw a circle around you and always try to fight in that circle so that you can handle one enemy at a time. And the same thing goes for your mind. Try to handle one problem at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. It's a really really cool principle. Another principle is the Tetris effect. The Tetris is a game. You can play it on your phone. Uh, it has just objects falling down. Uh, they find that people, when they play a game a lot of time, for a month uh, even, they can just sleep and dream about it. You can try this actually with any game you were addicted for, like uh, Candy Crush or whatever, for like a month. When you sleep, you always think about the diamonds and the things falling. This idea tells you that when you focus your mind on something all the time, you read about it, you watch videos about it, you listen to audios about it, it always comes to your mind and you start to dream about it and your brain gets used to it. And it becomes, you know, like a second nature, it becomes uh, a habit. So happiness can also become a habit. Uh, also, you can share that with, with the people around you. This is known as social investment. Try to make other people happy. Try to enjoy yourself and try to enjoy this podcast. So thank you very much.